呀。I'm Eli Prinson from HybridVocalTechnique.com. Today's video is watch your mouth. Watch your mouth, okay? Um, <laughs> all I was really doing here was a little octave and a half scale, um, uh, one of my belting routines. So we started down here at E flat and then went up to B flat four um, belting. But what you notice is that the mouth stayed the same. So I didn't get stuck doing what? Ah, 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 screaming and shouting and trying to do everything from down here from my jaw and mouth and throat and neck, right? This is something you'll see a lot on YouTube from other, some good coaches and some other people, all right? They'll tell you about pulling chest and they'll tell you pulling chest when you're going high and, and you don't even get anywhere and they're like, ah, ah. well, if you do that, you were never going to get anywhere. Okay. So the shape of your mouth, whether you're, whether you're singing in any register, no matter what you call it, doesn't matter. The shape of your mouth colors and shapes the vowel and gives the sound to the listener. So if I change it up, if I just move, say I'm right here from C, E, and G four right here. All right. If I smile and do an E, me, if I change it, me, changing the shape is changing the sound. Okay. I'm still modifying in my mind and behind this shape. All right. Follow me so far. Okay. Now, if my, if I'm completely consumed with straining from, from here, from my jaw, from my throat, from my neck, shoulders, anything else. The reason for that is because A, I've never truly learned how to support my voice or B, it's just a super bad habit I can't get rid of or C, all of the above, right? So using your support is not merely for your airflow. You support that voice and give yourself the illusion of something else to push from and start getting your mind and training new habits to let go of all this stuff and all this stuff and all this stuff and all this stuff. So that when you're pulling chest, you can actually sing like the people you hear on the radio in your full voice, your real full voice, right? Okay. So again, I did that little, um, ended up on what B flat. Practice all your vowels, watch your mouth in a mirror. Okay. See if you're changing it up. If you're trying to do an ah, ah, if ah is a bad vowel for you and it makes you do something weird or E, which used to be terrible for me. I used to, when I did E's, I would be like this. E I would do all kinds of weird things. Oh, I would do like this. Oh, right. Ooh, forget about it. Forget about it. Okay. It was that bad. Now, is this you? Is this you? When you grab a mirror, right? If you grab a mirror or nowadays you got, you got phones and you got webcams and screens and things, watch yourself when you practice. If it's a mirror on the wall, even better. Watch yourself, watch your mouth, watch your jaw, watch everything while you practice. Okay. Working on your vowels, even it's going to rear itself in your full voice and chest voice when you're belting. And, and all I mean by that is singing much higher in modality one. All right. Mom, 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 mom. And not going into mom, into head voice. Okay. So usually that's where the habit is built up and the habit will stay there unless you change it. Okay. So if you see yourself or someone else on the internet, this is pulling chest. Ooh, ah! Well, tell yourself if you do that and they do that when they sing a chest voice, there's a reason for it. Old habits die hard, but you can change and create a new habit 
in 21 days, 28 days, something like that. Pretty quick, right? With the right instruction, the right advice, all right, and the right practice. So watch that mouth, use the mirror, watch the mirror, make the adjustments. Have an awesome day. See ya.